unfortunately with TikTok and stuff like that, it is great that there is an awareness of different conditions, but however, sometimes when we do self-diagnose, we get it mixed up with another condition. Mm -hmm. So the key way to identify the difference between psoriasis and seborrheic dermatitis is that with psoriasis, it actually exceeds the perimeter of your hairline. And a lot of the time you actually get it at the posterior area of your mm -hmm. head, where, and um, it can appear anywhere on the body. Whereas with said derm, you tend to get it on the scalp only. Um, and you can also have it around the nasal fold area, behind your ears, um, and just a little bit of patches, whereas a lot of the time it's kind of a blanket of the scalp. I would do, I'm always gonna be someone that recommends natural or any chemicals. So like apple cider vinegar rinses are really good as a natural alternative, oiling the scalp. While your hair is in braids, you can wash the scalp. Um, and it's related to your stress levels as well. So if you're Notice that you're quite stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> also, just to point on that, um, both conditions are reoccurring in long term and chronic, so there isn't really anything that you can do solution wise. It's just about maintaining your health as you go in along. I'm really sorry.